Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Suspendi, a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Far Harbor. Together today with a special guest star, it's Nick Valentine. And Nick Valentine, well, if he's coming along with me, Nick Valentine is going to have to play by my rules, which is why I've given him my uh, my nice plasma minigun, but no ammo for it, which I assume means he's going to have to just use it as a whirly blade thing. Hope he does. Anyway, we'll see. If he doesn't, then I'm going to have to force him to equip something else. But I imagine he's going to. I quite like Nick Valentine with the minigun, yes. Also, I need to give him this because, um, because I'm travelling with a companion. I don't just do it because I don't like companions, by the way. I do it as a gameplay choice because by travelling with a companion, I've lost 30% damage reduction, 100 carry weight, and 25% damage. Like, my character is vastly weaker for travelling with Nick Va- Nick. Nick, hurry hurry the bloody hell up, Nick. Also, I think I saw an optional objective pop up that I could help the Mariner even bloody more. Hang on, do you have more to do? It gave me this idea. A cargo freighter found Oh no. So, hull breach part two, clear the trappers off the MS Azalea. I think I'm heading in that direction anyway, actually. Because today I want to be heading south. I need to head down this south road, and I'm gonna pass by Howard Dunbar for the water purifier, the missing synth. Then I can pass by the Azalea, and then I can swing by round two, or well, whatever the old pond house is, on my way to, and then I can go, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got a bit of distance to go here, but the map isn't quite as big as it looks. Like, it is a pretty big DLC, but like, you know, this is nowhere near the scale of the Commonwealth, so this isn't going to be that bad at all. Let's just head out of town and find our first objective, shall we? And that is going to be just 80 meters in this direction. We have got ourselves, yeah, water purifier and Harold Dunbar, who was sent out this way and never came back. And Nick Valentine will be listening out to see if he's got anything interesting to say about this area. Now, just 20 odd meters in this direction. Here we are. Why don't you just build your water purifiers in the sea, by the way? You totally can build water purifiers into the sea. That's how purifiers work. And around here, we've got ourselves... Basic Myalurks. Don't think we need to be too worried by them. And uh, my new harvester gets its first little run out today. This is a staggering bleeding harvester. I think this like will do Howard the job very me. nicely. Howard Dunbar yeah, sadly is very, very dead. Myself. Fog condenser components. Good, I can use those to fix the fog condensers myself, I'm guessing. So, fog condenser number one. Fix. Beautiful. And that wibbles back into life. Very, very nice. Let's just crack on our way and do the remainder of these three. This seems pretty simple. Number two. Something glowing over there. That's just blight. Blight mushrooms. Something else glowing over here. Also blight mushrooms. Just blight mushrooms catching metal. And the last one that leads them up to their water purifier. Here we go. Repaired. And we've drawn the attention of a legendary Myalurk Razor Claw. You are going to go down very quickly, my good man. Oh, wait, what the bloody hell? That is interesting. That and that there is a Myalurk without its uh, without its shell on. You can cut the shell off, but the texture of the shell stays there. That is fascinating. Meanwhile, I've got one of the best legendary effects on one of the worst weapons. There we are, Vat's enhanced rolling pin. Yep, same thing happens again. If you use the um, the ripper to tear the shell off a Myalurk after it's dead, the uh, the little kind of uh, effect, the um, the texture on the outside of the shell keeps floating over the Myalurk. Fascinating. Now, Nick, because I don't like companions because I find them a bit too powerful, you're, what, you're using the Rockville Slugger. No, no, you're not. You can use the Vats Enhanced Rolling Pin and be grateful for it, all right? Now, next up, just 50 meters in this direction, apparently we are heading to find a missing synth for uh, our synthy friends up in Acadia, which I'm told is a real world location, which is why it's Acadia, not Arcade. Oh! All right, fine. Now, a house over here, no sign of any trouble. What do we got? Oh dear, blood trail. Hmm. There's a trail of blood. Not a good sign, mind. I follow the blood out the back here. More blood. Now we just, aha, follow the blood trail. And we're heading south, which is convenient, because this is the exact direction we want to go to reach the Azalea anyway. Are you, wait, Trapper? Uh, uh, are you not going to attack me? Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's Meyer Lurk or man. What if it's a Meyer Lurk man? Hey, that would be a great name for a superhero. Leave! Or die. I don't think I'm going to be the one that ends up dead. So you're cannibals as well as everything else. Ugh, you're cannibals? We survive. Okay, uh, I don't want any trouble. I'm not going to pass it, but actually, no, screw it. Bye-bye. You're dead. 
And you're going to be staggered and everything. And stagger you. And apparently I, I baseball batted his head off with this. Beautiful. Missing synth head. Oh dear. That means... Oh, they ate a synth. Which you can do, because synths do produce synthetic meat that can be uh, eaten. I don't think you can cook it, though. You, I don't think there's a way to cook the gorilla meat. But, uh, yes, you can indeed uh, You can indeed eat synthetic gorilla meat. So, synths are quite edible, as these cannibals have uh, very nicely demonstrated there. Well done, guys. So, that's a shame, but on the plus side, we don't need to escort him anywhere, which is convenient. So, back up to the road, and now we're following it south down to that ship that wants to be cleared out. Also of these lads... So heading off the beaten track at this point, we've run a road, crossing open ground to make it to the ship that is apparently very close by. Go into hidden, turn off the lights, just scout out the situation nice and quick. We should be very close to this place. All right, now, what have we got here? Uh, ooh, legendary relentless. Like the sound of you. What else have we got? No, Nick, Nick, don't, don't go ahead. All right. So you're just level twenty-two. We know there's a relatively bad trapper in that direction. I should be able to stay hidden for quite some time before I kind of get seen. Here we are, the MS Azalea. So I've got like a little kind of entrance bit. And then like, uh, if I can just get eyes on the, the legendary, I won't mind. Ah, he's in there. Hang on, just drop a grenade in on top of him. There you go. That's my Molotov, apparently. Oh, well. Shriek of pain. That probably means I'm doing a good job right now. And there's the legendary in question. May as well kind of go up to him. And there we are. We'll just stagger and bleed you. Stagger and bleed, stagger and bleed. Oh, yeah. Cool, because they can attack fast. Can actually get around this a little bit. But let's see what you've got going on here. Uh, wait a sec, what did you have? Fortifying metal chest piece. All right, not spectacular. Oh, uh, yeah, enemies have a really fast attack, like uh, ghouls or whatever. They can, like, get around you and get a couple of attacks in kind of between staggers. Enemies with slow attacks, like with guns, actually seem to really struggle a bit. Also, why are only one of you guys the target? Oh, is this one of those just take out the leader situations? If so, who's the leader? And it is Bilge. Bilge, whoever you are, have a Molotov. Got more legendary and relentless in there yet. Here we go. We might just be able to... Actually, he's, he's close, but I think he's not. There's no direct line to him. Can I get over to... I don't even know how you're flipping. Oh. You're over there. Hello. Have a um, plasma grenade. That'll do you very nicely. You also have a plasma grenade. That's good for you. There you go. That's got your health down. Jump over to the boat. And now, a couple of hits for you. And then we can't get over to you. All right, fine. Just go in there. Oh, I may have slightly exposed myself here. This may be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, this is a very bad idea. Right, okay. Healing and Psycho. Where's some more people I can get to? There's, okay, let's clear out the back of the boat first. Get out of here. Thanks to the benefit of Psycho Jet. Up and... Screw... Can I get up? I can't make that jump, apparently. <laughs> Bacon on drugs has made bad decisions. And then screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. And screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. Perfect. Gotta be careful here. If one of these guys has a harpoon gun, that's a one-shot kill at this point. Oh, he's come down to find me. The leader's come to find me. That works for me. We will just straight up uh, ripper him in the everything. And then, oh, you're also a legendary. Right, get into cover. Get into cover. Get, okay, good. That was the last of them. All right, that was nice and tough. Oh, no, it wasn't. Run, 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 grenade. Dip. Oh, what the heck was that? This area feels like the sort of area that might be something special, though. I'm just going to quickly uh, search around just in case. Oh, yeah. There's some in here. Elevator. Where does this take me down? There's another area around the back here. Grenade for you lot. Oh, yeah. This ship's massive. And it's got a whole bunch of elevators and stuff around here. And I swear one of you was a legendary as well. Uh, bolstering right like Ah, harpoon. Harpoon gun. I'm going to... Ow. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, flip. This is a bad time to be over-encumbered. So as I was saying, you know the thing about the harpoon launcher? Not a gun. Harpoon is totally just like a thrown melee weapon. A harpoon launcher just kind of helps me launch it. That's, that's legit. Okay, fine. I just want to try it out. It's fine. Oh, got a guy. And that does. Okay, that is pretty good damage to him. Bearing in mind, like, I've taken, like, no perks in what I'm assuming is going to be big guns. And finish him off. Oh, that's nice. I think it needs a bit more physics behind it, though. I'd like it better if I had just a bit more physics behind it. Ow! 
Well, as far as I can tell, I've searched everywhere across this boat, across like the little boat that's down there, the captain's quarters, the main named character. Looks like no one's got any special unique weapons on this thing, but yeah. This was a bit of a tough fight. Oh, I'm pleased to see the game's actually uh, picking up the toughness a bit. It's been a bit easy so far for the melee characters. So, uh, yeah, pleased to see a bit more added difficulty coming in. So next up, we need to head pretty much straight west until I hit an old pond thingy. Something that the almanac put on my map. And if I head there, once I get to it, I should be almost at the nucleus. Perfect. I wouldn't mind heading straight west, but the map's kind of laid out with some quite steep cliffs around. So I doubt I'm going to be able to. Instead, we're just going to have to make do with throwing some grenades in. Okay, what do we got here? You, dead. Bear in mind, I'm flimsy. I can't get caught up by crowds of trappers too much. Ooh, legendary relentless trapper. Critical for you. Nice, you've mutated. And just get in there. Actually, you'd be a good candidate if I was forced to deal with you outside of vats for the, uh, for the harvester now. Right, out, 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 out. Uh, Valentine's coming for me. Crippling assault rifle. 50% more limb damage. Not too bad. Oh god, I'm feeling myself being so much more flimsy with Nick being around. Like, I've lost 30% damage reduction and 25% damage. This is so bad. Like, I used to be able to watch- Oh, your head has gone over there. Your head has gone walkabouts. Are we done? No, we're not done yet. Uh, we can teleport up to you though. Level 38 relentless trapper. Beautiful. We can- Oh, you had a harpoon gun. Thank God we got rid of you. Yeah, I've learned a valuable lesson here, which is it's possibly not that melee specifically is so overpowered. Just melee combined with Lone Wanderer is slightly ludicrous. That's uh, really, really powerful. In fact, I'd say arguably it's the strongest build in the game right now. Melee and Lone Wanderer together are just crazy good. Now, what am I coming up on here? Frag mines. Someone's... Ooh. Hello. Super mutants. Wasn't expecting more super mutants. You would, I thought I was told the only super mutants on the island were the ones at the spa. But that's fine. You're almost dead now already. This is a bloody super mutant fortress. This is all very surprising. And super mutant flipping. Oh, masters. Masters. Another master that's got a sniper laser rifle. All right. We got to be more than a little bit careful around here, mind. Right, move, move, get in, get in, get in. Glowing mutant hounds as well, perfect. Right, Harbour Grand Hotel, get around the side of it. I don't want to be approaching from the front, so let's just jump around the side, lure a few of them to us. Super mutant, no, I don't want to stand still. I think you've realised it's a good idea for me to be not be doing that. You, yes, one master on his own, I can handle. That's fine. More coming in, yeah, and more behind me too. One enforcer over there, fine. Um, Get some healing going on. Enforcer goes down in two. That sets up a critical. Oh, flip. Uh, uh, go, 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 go. Where am I going now? I'm going over to you. One. Oh, oh, an overlord. Oh, good. Overlords are back. I have zero chance to hit. Right, okay. <laughs> good. This has got nicely difficult all of a sudden. Drink a quantum. Eat some mutt chops. Everything's good. Now, you. Critical. And that is something good at least. Someone is thrown in a... Someone, oh, someone threw a grenade, but luckily I think that's defense gave me yep, some good defense against that. Who's up there? One enforcer. Right, get inside. Harvester will work against dogs, mind. Yep, staggered and bleeding. Perfect. And, ooh, new leather left leg. 30% chance to ignite melee attackers once every 20 seconds. Uh, not bad, not spectacular. Right, let's get inside here. We need a bit of breathing room. I don't know where the hell Nick Valentine is, but I'm guessing he's a bit dead by now. Yep. That was the R of Nick Valentine there. Super Union forces over there. Some cars have just exploded over that way. I'm going to get up on the roof. I know that doesn't sound like a sensible place for a melee character, but with Demo Expert, I can actually do a decent job up there. Plus, there's at least one, like, master with a laser sniper rifle up on the roof. I need to take care of him. There you are. One skirmisher, one enforcer. One, two... One, two, three. Oh, I'm just two. Fine. Oh, this thing actually has surprisingly high... Uh, that's intense on the vats, actually. I'm going to get four hits off in, uh, in that. Luckily, uh, a second will do you fine. And now... Now, you are a, you're an enforcer, but disarmed, stunned, bleeding. Not going to do very much well here. Fine. Get out of dodge. You're a basic. You just have a board. You're fine. Oh, I've annoyed an enforcer. All right, enforcers aren't too bad. My action points are already bad. Remember, I took a rank of action, girl. Don't know where Valentine's got himself, by the way. 
Right, over the top. Oh, we've got you. That's the master up there. Level 42 master with a laser sniper weapon. Right, go and hit. Oh, I like the fact we're actually climbing up onto the top of the roof of the hotel here. Where's the rest of them, by the way? I'm just going to hide back here for a second. Do they know? No, I'm still in caution. Caution, not danger. That's what I wanted to see. Another way up this way. Fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. That's hopefully a sneak, sneak attack. <laughs> Down to the ground you go, my good man. Oh, I like watching him fall. That cheers me up. No end. And there should be one more over here. Yep, hello. Level 10 basic. And off his head flies into space. Wait, who the heck is shooting at me? Someone from way over there? All right, fine. Valentine, you got this one, I'm sure. Chest up here gives me four fragmentation grenades. That's welcome. Yeah, I really hope I've gone and done all this for a reason, by the way. <laughs> I really like to think, you know, there's going to be some sort of okay-ish reward for... For doing all of this, other than just because there were super mutants and I don't like super mutants. Drop down here. Well, I found what looks like a big main front door here. Let's head and see what goes on. Super that's just Nick, who's come in from over there for some reason. So that's the back entrance. I think I know where that is. Uh, let's go over to the... Fi Ooh, flip. Right, fish catcher, fish catcher, fish catcher. It's much more powerful. Wait, where did you just go? Did you just drop down? Screw you. Right, dead in one. And then there's going to be one more. Uh, Nick, you've got that enforced with your rolling pin, right? I'll go handle the other one while you get him. Lovely. Oh, the masters are a little bit on the tougher side. They deserve a critical. Nice. Not quite, mind. One more attack. One more attack. One more attack. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, that was it. Level 43, and he doesn't have a head anymore. Nick's honestly not doing great against the enforcer. I'm doing better. Although I've just killed Nick as well, never mind. Oh, I like how he's got a bloody rolling pin too. You know what? Have a stim pack. There you go. You know what, Nick? I've decided you can have a better weapon. <laughs> yeah, you use the Rockville Slugger. Why not? Have some fun with the Rockville Slugger here. Got a legendary master to go. Yeah, oh, uh, bloody hell. That's going to be fun. Well, this is interesting. Broken down walls leading into a back area. Rooms. Including a gnome sitting on the toilet reading a paper holding his toothbrush, of course. They do bloody love just having teddy bears and gnomes laid out in funny positions over at Bethesda. It clearly amuses them greatly. Now let's head upstairs. I need to find that legendary master. Decide how we're going to approach that. If I can get the sneak attack on the legendary master, that'll be nice. Right, oh, there he is. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait for him, Nick. If he's going to walk this way, this works just bloody fine. There we are. He's going to be dead in one. 12 times damage. Yep, easily down before he can regenerate. Perfect. Now, what have you given me? And, ooh. Ooh, that's nice. A Deadeye Railway Rifle. Time slows for a second. That's a new legendary effect I'd heard of but hadn't seen yet. Uh, but also, it's a railway rifle, and railway rifles are fundamentally cool. Okay, let's see how long it lasts. So, aim. One, two, three, four. So, about three or four seconds. That's actually pretty good. You know what, Nick? I, I want to see this thing actually have some use. There we are. I've given him the railway rifle, together with some nice railway spikes for it. So, he's got the ammo, too. Now, given the bloody legendary masters and the massive amount of, like, masters with laser snipers and overlords and so forth, there better be something bloody good at the end of this hotel. No, just the door back outside, in fact. And this just leads me back out to the top where I already was. Well, I will admit I am confused. I do not know what the reward for doing this is. Or maybe killing super mutants is just its own reward. Maybe that's the lesson we're supposed to learn from this. Like, you know, there were a couple of good boxes up top. It's like an explosive crate, but I haven't like seen a major drop or a big steamer trunk or anything of that nature, to be honest. So never mind. That is, <laughs> this is the uh, the Harbour Hotel. It is full of super mutants, including overlords and legendary masters. And yeah, with uh, Nick Valentine with me, it's a whole lot more difficult to take on because I'm a lot more flimsy all of a sudden. Can't help but notice that just over to the west of the hotel, the sea appears to be on fire. The heck's going on here? Burning oil? Well, I reasonably assumed that this boat had oil in it, but it wouldn't still be burning 200 years after it crashed, and no one's shipping oil around the world these days, so what the hell's this thing doing here? 
Right, just swim around the outside of the burning oil pool, and I'm going to go and see if I can investigate what the hell's going on in here. Yeah, burning oil pool. But how? Who's shipping oil around the world? Because it sure as hell didn't just get shipped recently. Well, one fusion core down here, but... Honestly, no real satisfactory answers. Unless there's something under the waterline, of course. A few more shipping containers, but nothing I'd kind of say is uh, counting as a clue, really. Well, just a mystery here, then. Maybe a ship that crashed 200 years ago, the oil spilt out, but it only caught fire recently, I guess. Only explanation I can come up with. Continuing my journey over towards the west to get to the nucleus, and I appear to have found just a little town here. Nice little town in the middle of nowhere. Vicious Wolf, so it says. Grey Wolf, Vicious Wolf. Ah, Grey Wolves are one of the high levels of uh, Vicious Wolf. Get you down nice and quick. Flipping nail flying over there. And Legendary Rabid Wolf, level 40. Get you down, you. Critical. You seem pretty tough, actually. So, 10% chance to freeze melee attacks once every 20 seconds. Okay, so same as the Frigid Revolutionary Sword I got earlier. Nothing of immediate note in this town, but it does provide a useful little bridge that leads over to the Southwest Harbour, where I was asked to uh, go to by uh, Faraday, I believe it was, over in Acadia. So I may as well kind of pass through here. What have we got going on here? Something's nearly detecting me. Hello. Defence is put up. That will point towards trappers. Not anything else, but we shall see. Also, the scrounging trapper I've just accidentally snuck up behind. That would also point in that direction. So here's the boat in question. Another boat on fire, but this time uh, one's actually got something useful in it. No sign of any trouble here. All right, got ourselves some storage devices. Perfect. You know what? While we're so close, I'm going to head down to the lighthouse because I think if I do that, I'll actually have completed all of the um, the quests for uh, for Far Harbor, the, like, the first town itself, which will be nice. Also, I should level up. Well, one I need to take sooner or later, the final rank of science. We won't be using that imminently, but it is very useful indeed. Right, let's cross the water here. Oh, f don't probably knock through the burning oil mine. And instead, go over and find this here lighthouse. Now, of course, if game logic tells me anything, now that we've stepped onto the, uh, the southernmost island, things are probably about to get a lot nastier. Which is a shame, but alright... Actually, no sign of anything yet, but feral ghoul reavers. Ghouls are fine. Ghouls we can just straight up murder. One excavation or quarry something something in this direction. Sure, let's head up to that. Hello, what have we got going on here? Ooh. Something quite major, in fact. Trapper. Trapper territory. Right, grenade for you. Something catching fire over there. All right, we got quite a fair bit of stuff here. This is a quarry, but oh, it's okay. There's quite a few of them, actually. This might have not been a good idea. Right, in for a penny, in for a pound. You, teleport to you. Finish you off. All right, forward. This way. Out, just made that jump. Right, where's the one that's on top here? Need to get up top so he can't just snipe down at me. Relentless uh, scrounging and... Relentless. Yep, got enough action points to finish. Oh, you just exploded. Beautiful. I don't know exactly how our Big Leagues 5 worked exactly. Like, as far as I can tell, it only seems to activate when I would have killed them anyway. So I don't know if it's, like, purely aesthetic other than the power increase. But the actual Big Leagues effect, whether that is just... Oh, you were just a level 8. Fine. Yeah, I don't know if it's just aesthetic that uh, they don't have heads anymore. Doesn't necessarily feel like it's doing that much benefit to me. And then let the blood flow as you wish. So why exactly has this mine even been dug at all? It appears to be being dug into a... Ooh, a quarry. Quarry and a hell of a lot of myelurk eggs. Ooh, it's just like the Dunwich Borers a bit. Except with lots of dead myelurks. Question is, why is this even here? Ah, grenade! There we go. Ooh, blowing up their defences. Very, very nice indeed. And one more. Just a few more. Oh, there's one up there too. Yep, grenade in there. Perfect. Oh, grenades. I love grenades. Just fling myself forward into the... Yep. I, I appreciate the slow motion drama there, Bacon. That's fine. Oh, that's a harsh death. Oh, oh, that was nasty. I'm not sure I actually get anything for doing all of that, by the way. I think this is just literally one room. I can't see uh, any further that this goes. I think they were just using this old quarry actually just as their base. So this was just where there were a bunch of high level ones. I don't see any decent loot here at all. Never mind. 
Only Valentine was just kind of sitting down here in the water. Fine, what have you. I may have just ever so slightly activated a My Alert Queen. Um, I feel bad about life now. I actually can do pretty decent damage to her. There we go. Just kind of, yep, keep swinging. Keep swinging and hoping. Nice! Screw you, My Alert Queen. Still got two hunters to deal with, mind. I've got the effect of some psycho buff at the moment, which is why we're quite... Oh, bloody hell. How many of them are there? Almost dead. Actually dead. <laughs> okay. Be careful of the quarry on the southern island. It does indeed spawn a My Alert Queen. Thanks for all your help, Nick, by the way. Really appreciate it. Here we are. Coming up on that flipping lighthouse now. Perfect. Then we just need to kill, presumably, if it's typical, just the leader... And we're done. We don't need to actually clear all of them out. So I might just go and assassinate the leader and then make a run for it, depending on how tough it is. That's interesting. Oh, I think this is their practice range. Given their firing, but I haven't been detected yet. Right, round the outside. Just got to find this place. And then... Come on. Where are you? Come on, give me give me an actual quest marker here. One Grim Trapper. Ah, screw it. Grenade! Lovely. And what do we have next? We've got ourselves one Grim Trapper, Brooks Head Lighthouse, Bloodthirsty Scream. That sounds about the right starting point. You're all dead. Right, let's get this kicked off now then. This kind of environment kind of works for me. Internal fighting. Uh, Legendary Relentless. Right, you're a good candidate for a... Um, you are a good candidate for a critical in a second. Yep, fine. You're going to get critical. Just to make sure... Oh, you took that. Okay, blimey. Right, okay. Take you back off for a sec. Oh! No, 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 no. Get some healing going on. One more of you's come round. Grim, I know there's a legendary to collect the weapon off in a second. Right, go, go, go. Move around the side of the house. I'm not in a good position right now. Right, round the side, round the side, round the side. Uh, I think we've got one in here who I can just snipe off now. Yep, a couple of hits should do you. All right. Ooh, we're going for a special animation. If you can just speak. That's a very odd animation there, Bacon. I think he just tried to... What, what are you even doing? He's already dead. Leave him be. Right, one up here. Grim Trapper down there. Got my health back. We're all right for the minute. Right, Grim Trapper going down. Nick, I think, is doing a good job here. Got me good, says Nick. Where's the legendary? Assassin's Leather left. Ow. Leave me alone. Oh, and there it happens again. <laughs> I like that animation. That's a good animation. Question is, where's the bloody leader? Oh, the leader is apparently way over this way. Uh, right, we'll leave the him then. I'm going straight for the leader. Nick, you handle these guys. I'm going to go and assassinate the leader if I can. Uh, he's way, way up above me. Fine, I'll just see if I can sneak my way up the lighthouse. If I can just get a 12x attack on him, whoever the leader is, he's going to go down before he even bloody sees me. There he is. He's up here. All right, all right. We can do this. We've got this. Right, okay. Third person camera, third person camera, third person camera, third person. Where is he? There he is. Oh. No, that's a Triggerman. That's a Triggerman statue. What the hell is going on here? Oh, unless you're on the. Oh, you, but I'm guessing you're on the platform above in that case. All right. And then, okay, just, 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 just. There he is, Douglas. Get him. For level 46. Dead in one hit. Perfect. Douglas dies. Ooh, but... Before that, mysterious holotape. Well, that settles it. I am 100% screwed. Damn this fog. You'd think a lighthouse would be easy to find, but not this. Never seen fog like it. Can't believe I let myself get talked into this. How do I know that woman wasn't crazy? I'm starting to think her whole story was some fantasy she cooked up to get attention. Taking out one trapper to avenge her husband's death. Sounded easy enough. Now I wish I'd stay far away from this godforsaken island. Shit, something's coming! Oh. I'm not the first she's sent to handle this. And Douglas's note. Caught some of my boys trying to steal some of the loot we took off that trader. Had to put a bullet in him just to show the others. Just in the lake for now. Put all the stuff in a trunk and dropped it in one of the fishing nets. I'll hang on to the key for something, presumably in case they get any ideas. Okay. All of the loot in a fishing net. And he had the key on him. Do you have a key on you? As far as I can tell, you don't. No. Right, let's just take this boat down. 
See if this leads us to any fishing nets that I can see. Ah, down here next to a boat. This is just the sort of position we might have a fishing net. And then we got... Oh, we've got more yet. Right. Two Grim Trappers dead. And then the critical for the Relentless goes down. Watch out for the turret behind you, Bacon. Faster. There we go. Beautiful. We good? I think we're good. Now, I'm guessing we go out this way, we will find a fishing net that we can put some of the loot in, right? Fishing net with some loot. Well, despite being brought down to this area, I can't see an obvious big fishing net. That would be where they store the loot that was mentioned. Ah, for once we're going to find a use for Nick Valentine. You just hack that terminal for me in case it is something related to the, uh, yeah, something related to this fishing net and the loot. Thank you. No, darn, it's just spotlight controls and turret controls. Well, definitely cleared out all the trappers. Headed up to the top floor. I still do not see exactly where, unfortunately, the loot is supposed to be. But one thing I do know that I want to check out here in the chemistry station, sludge. Sludge recipes. Thanks to the almanac that I found uh, last part, in fact. So using condensed fog, dirty water fertilizer and a stim pack, action point regeneration will increase with your current rad level for 12 minutes. Oh, so if you want to, you could have less action points, but they come back faster. Kind of a bit of a pointless trade-off in some ways. Or I could increase my damage resistance with higher rads. Okay, potentially a better trade-off if that's what you want to do. Now this one's arguably actually quite good. I can get rid of 150 rad resistance if you're not in rads and outside of this DLC there's a good chance you won't be for plus 75 health. That's a good deal. Or just straight up my strength is going up with my current rad level. Okay. This here, those are some good recipes. That's worth thinking about. Right, I'd say with all of that done, oh my goodness, what the Wait, what the heck are you? A rad rabbit? No, come back here. Stop the rad rabbit. What the heck is this? It's got rabbit leg times two on it. Got a cooking station around here. What can we do with that rabbit leg? Oh, we can turn that grilled hermit crab into something, by the way. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Plus two strength and plus two endurance from grilled hermit crab. Yeah, quickly make all of that and then start eating it all the time. Okay, that's pretty funny. That is a new recipe. Seasoned rabbit skewers. If you eat rabbits, you get plus one luck for 30 minutes. Again, actually pretty darn good. You need aster, uh, black blood leaf, lure weed, that's kind of the stuff that looks like it's an angler, uh, blight and rabbit leg. Huh, interesting. Meanwhile, the fog crawler, if I had some oil with me, I can turn that into damage resistance greatly increased in foggy and rainy weather. That's a nice little recipe there. Just kind of quietly in the background, this DLC has added a load of extra stuff you might not expect. It's not just an extra land, it's, you know, loads of extra bits and pieces. Okay, fine, in the end we didn't actually make it to the Nucleus, but next time we're already right here at Southwest Harbour, so we are right ready to go to the Nucleus. Just a lot of fights and exploration today. However, with Nick Valentine present, it was a lot harder than it used to be, so hopefully a bit more exciting. Let's nip back to Acadia and turn these things in. So, two quests to here. I got those tapes you wanted. Yes. I've got those storage drives you asked for. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, just the two? Really? I somehow thought there were three. Punch him in the face. There we are. Data recovery. Lovely. As for you, here is the head of a dead synth. And for that, I get myself the Hitman Fiery Institute Rifle plus 10% damage while aiming. Okay, another new prefix. Hitman. Uh, but I don't think that's really for me, obviously. It's a gun. It's... What is it? Uh, quite a... Yeah, a relatively fast firing rifle. It's kind of a bit like Righteous Authority, but a little bit different too. It's got the Gamma Wave emitter on it. Yeah, that's... um. So that's burning damage, hence the fiery. Yeah, not great, to be honest. It's not even that well upgraded, so pretty, pretty useless. So that's the arrival completed as well. Nick, Nick, where are you? I need you to hold this for me. And that is also Acadian Ideals completed. I've done the two sub-quests, so I've completed the uh, the whole kind of help out Acadia section. Perfect. So that's a further 372 XP on top. Perfect. Demon got anything to say as a result of the fact that I've kind of helped everyone? Wait, your friend there. I'd like to speak to him. Yeah, I got a few words I want to say myself. Starting with, who the hell are you? 
There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see it when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Okay, what the hell's going on here? I know this joke. Two androids walk into a bar. I'm afraid the punchline isn't going to be very funny. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Okay, yeah, sure, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Okay, so accidentally I did just get some unique dialogue with Nick. Excellent, I thought it was kind of a bit of a waste I brought him along this episode, but uh, fortunately, uh, yeah, I just got that little thing there. Okay, very interesting. Now, are you willing to say anything nice to me because I helped out your friends? Nope, never mind, got nothing new to say. Fine, back to Far Harbor itself to turn the whole bunch of quests there, including confronting Cassie about what she's been getting on with. And level up too. Pushing up endurance when you've got nothing better to do is always a good idea. Just gets you a lot more hit points. There is a lot of quest markers floating around Far Harbor. Number one, the Mariner. I have got you. I can't remember what I did for you. I did whatever you wanted me to do. Oh, the Trappers. Yeah, they're dead. There we are. Hull Breach 2 completed. And what sounds like a pile of money. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask. Why do you keep at it? Oh, I don't know, Teddy. Uh, for the caps, you good people, plan to stop. Does it matter? Does it really matter? I suppose not. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, They'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this, well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. Well, I've kind of already killed a fog crawler and a my alert queen today. I'm ready to be a legend, yeah. I'm ready to become a legend then. You what? <laughs> There's an old my alert feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. Right, so I can become the king of the unfriendly jerks in the middle of ass back nowhere purely by going and sacrificing myself to a my alert queen. Okay, not sure why I'd want to do that, but what have you. Now, Captain Avery, I've done your bit of business too. Did you find Howard? Very, very dead. Oh, oh my sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. Who do you think he is, really? Family? Well, you do look very, very similar. 
It's hard to deny it, Nick. Similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Yeah, of course. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. So does that begin a little quest or anything? Nope, never mind. But I would imagine what we could find in uh, Better Left Forgotten may well be of use to uh, figuring out a bit more about Nick. Now, Cassie, you are the most mysterious person of all. What kind of person just shoots a man for sport? All those trappers can burn in hell. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost, all those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. Uh, yeah, how many other people have you actually sent, by the way? I found a holotape from the last guy you sent to the lighthouse. He thought your whole story was a lie. Is it? A lie? No, no. It was true. Or at least, there was truth in it. Was there a little harmless exaggeration as well? Perhaps. But some things are more important than truth. Look at you, for instance. You've seen the island's dangers and survived. You've learned something valuable. What's more, the island learned something too. It knows you're not some greenback mainlander who can't tell up from down in the fog. The island will respect you now. And that's more than I can say for most who step off the boat. Okay, let's just walk away from the crazy lady. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh. For at least a generation or two. This better be good. And when you say generation, if it's been in your family for one generation, that just means you found it and now you're giving it away. Ooh. Blood letter. Target's bleed for 25 points of additional damage. So, a unique variant of the fish hook. But with 25 points of bleed damage. To be honest, that is not as good. It's not as good. And that's just purely for the simple reason that you just can't get enough hits off. Like, because it's a slow, heavy weapon and you don't have vats enhanced on it, I'd only be able to get, what, like, three hits off in vats, I think? Probably three if I'm lucky. If I can only get three hits off, then the bleeding damage that it's actually putting on is relatively modest, so it'll kind of be pointless. However, I do have a plan for it. And that's from now on, Nick and I will be partners in crime. I don't actually have enough aluminium on me to upgrade that thing right now, and I don't want to bother nipping back to the mainland, but me and Nick have now got fish hooks together. We are, hang on, just step forward a little bit. Fish hook buddies, there we are. We're going to, like, hook our fish hooks together. There we go, fish hook buddies, nice. So, yes, me and Nick are going to go around with fish hooks together. We're going to head over to the nucleus. That's actually going to happen next time. We're going to go to the nucleus, see what Nick has to say, see if we can learn any more about Nick and his relationship with Dima. Okay, fine. That's right. It was worth bringing Nick Valentine along. He knows some interesting stuff there. So, there we are. More soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John's. Been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4, Far Harbor. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Just got to weaken the base of this a little bit more. Yes! Yes! Good news! I'm protecting you! Alex Mason, the man who can literally run as fast as a speeding truck. This game is basically just badasses don't look at explosions the game, isn't it? Oh! Ho, 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 ho.